Do you know when to say no? Or is this a challenge for you? Love yourself enough to set boundaries. Your time and energy are precious. You get to choose how you use it. You teach people how to treat you by deciding what you will and won't accept. Are you looking out for yourself? Are you doing what's best for you? Or do you always end up doing what's best for others? I'm not asking you not to compromise. I'm not asking you to be selfish. I'm asking you to make sure that you are fine, well and happy so that you can make a positive difference in the lives of those who matter to you. I'm asking you not to sacrifice your needs. I'm asking you to stand up for yourself and speak your truth. If you don't have healthy boundaries, you're going to end up feeling frustrated. You're going to feel caged mentally, emotionally, spiritually. If you allow others to encroach on your freedom, on your basic rights, you're going to end up thinking less of yourself. Why not do this? Firstly, don't change to fit in. I know you want to feel a sense of belonging. You want that connection. You want to be part of a certain social group. At the same time, you realize that your values and principles are completely different. You know that you will never fit in just by being your authentic self, your true self. You're thinking of all the changes you need to make to your life all the changes you need to make to yourself so that you can fit in. Please, please don't edit yourself for others. If you must change, let it be for you and you alone. Let it be because you want to become the best version of yourself. Any other reason will not give you a productive or a lasting outcome. 2. Have goals unique to you. When you're part of a community, activity or team, the interaction is bound to have some impact on you. It somehow enters your system. This may influence your goals, both long-term and short-term. The purpose of having goals is to push you the extra mile so that you can explore your potential. If your goals are based on other people's achievements, aspirations and interests, you risk settling for less than you ought to aim for. You may even lose interest in achieving these goals you are likely to underachieve. Why go down that road? Why not make a conscious effort to set goals based on your inclinations, your capabilities, your desires? At every milestone, review your goals. Know exactly why you are pursuing them. If the reason is you, and only you, you're on the right track. Please don't mistake this for selfishness. This is basic, fundamental self-care. I'm going to repeat this because it's worth repeating. You've got to be fine, well and happy before you can make any positive difference in the lives of those who matter to you. Your goals are an extension of you. They represent your vision for the future. They help define your purpose in life. 
You recreate yourself through your goals. It's your job to discover what's truly important to you and tap on your potential. Your goals help you connect with yourself on a deeper level. Compromising this is simply not an option. Lastly, be the one to decide what's best for you. Be the decision maker in your life. You are given an opportunity to experience the gift of life. No one experiences life the way you do. Meaning, you know best what fulfills you. You know best what gives you a sense of achievement. You know best what makes you happy. Make sure that in your life, you are in the driver's seat. You determine how fast you want to go. You choose the route that you feel safe and confident traveling in. You are the only one who has the right to decide on your destination. It's a whole lot of freedom. Don't trade it for anything. It's a huge responsibility. Own it with confidence and conviction. Once you decide on something, don't be fickle. Don't look back. Don't second guess yourself because of what others might say. Don't hesitate because of what others might think. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't compromise. Healthy relationships require compromise. But it should not be at the expense of your authenticity. Trust your intuition. Respect yourself first. And most importantly, speak your truth. At all times, you must have the courage to stand up for yourself. Have crystal clear boundaries so that you can live your life to the fullest, your way. You've just got to close some doors, not because of pride, incapacity or arrogance, but simply because they no longer lead somewhere. <laughs>